Hey you guys, Katie Hill Farmer, coming back with another little short video. Uh, not been posting a bunch of videos here. Been uh, kind of busy as far as the fire department and you know everybody knows what's going on right now. So there ain't no need to explain that. But uh, you know, the training and uh, information that the first responders are getting all that stuff has just been taking up a bunch of time and not a whole lot of time to get videos done but uh i wanted to do a short little video today as far as on the john deere 2038r but i am going to show you a couple finds before we get into that video and before we get into it guys go, go check out the uh YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook page at Katie Hill Farmer. Uh, like I said, been busy in some meetings and uh, some other stuff at work there. And, uh, you know, kind of uh, not hoarding, but, you know, we do have a beef farm, which, you know, I did put out a video. I wasn't going to even put out, but just to put out some content, you know, why well, I didn't, you know, kill my own beef, but... Uh, I do buy beef off the neighbor and uh, neighboring farm and uh, you know so we're uh, I'd say we're stocked up pretty well and there's you know 10 head up there in the field if you ever you know you get hungry or whatever but anyhow here's uh, one of the finds I got for the place I just need to do a little bit of cleanup and pressure washing to it uh, it's 100 gallon fuel cell and uh, it's in no holes or nothing it, I think it'll clean up nice it's uh, also got a pump that goes with it it's a fuel right so I think it's a uh, 15 I think it's a 15 gallon no, 20 gallon per minute pump. So I did pick that up. I've not got it in service yet for the simple fact uh, that it has some junk in the bottom of it, which I should be able to get out pretty easily. But yeah, it's just one. Uh, it's actually a pipeline worker that was getting ready to drag up, as they call it, in the pipeline business. The neighbor actually runs a little lot over here and uh, he was getting ready to drag up and he was going to put it, he said, he asked if I wanted it, I said, sure. And uh, I did have to buy the pump off of him, but other than that. But let's get into the video and it's pretty much entitled on the John Deere 38R again. And it's one of probably the biggest design flaws I see in this tractor. And uh, <laughs> believe me, if you ain't done it, <clears throat> you will do it. Simple as that. I'm going to kind of show you. Next time I do do it, I'll make a complete video on it. But I'll uh, kind of go step by step on what you have to do to remedy this. But it would be on the uh, John Deere 2038R key. A lot of times I have broke this off twice so far. And it is a pain in the butt. Uh... It, it just it catches your foot all the time and pretty much first thing you got to unscrew that you know to be able to pull the plastic off but if you ever break your key off it's not the end of the world pretty easy to get out uh you pull these out on this side and the other side as you can see they're seamed right there this hole will pop off right here and you get to your ignition then that opens up for right here, which you have a couple, uh, I think they're the torque screws, which by them was missing quite a few, so I only had to take two out. And uh, it was missing probably at least three or four screws that should have been in there and wasn't. And it cut, did cut down a lot of vibration on the tractor. But anyhow, I'll walk around here to the other side. <clears throat> And same ordeal, you pull out on this, 
and that releases the snaps again seamed right here and this all pulls up off the tractor and then lets you down into here and this is another plastic piece and you've got to take that off pretty much to get the ignition switch out and then uh i just what i ended up doing is uh unplugging mine and can't remember how I got the the first one because a magnet won't work. It's not magnetized, so you can't use a magnet to get it out. But I think I just used a little screwdriver and kept working it until it loosened itself up. Then I was just able to tap it on the counter and get it out. But I, I don't. I mean, John Deere uh, should put that key somewhere else. Most people. You know, you're, you're supposed to get off on this side of the tractor, but uh, yeah, I hit, I've I broke it off twice now. Uh, this is my third key for it. I mean, hell, as you can tell, it's a pretty new key. But uh, yeah, it's a. <laughs> I'm anxious to see how many of you in the comments below, you know, tell me that you, you knocked off your key. I hope I ain't the only one. But like I said, it's uh. I've knocked it off multiple times or broke it off. And uh, usually usually it'll bend the first couple times, then it'll eventually break. But uh, very simple fix. Uh, like I said, poppy's out. And oh, you guys can see how easy that is. Then you just put them back into place. And as you can, uh, you'll be able to tell it has places where it slides into the other plastic down there like i said simple easy fix uh other than that the john deere has fed uh, probably close to 45 brown bells this year maybe more uh, and as you guys can tell by past videos it's been very very muddy and uh it's actually i mean it's tore up the ground don't get me wrong course that's why we rotate pasture in the cattle business and uh that field was poor anyhow as far as soil conditions so i'm not going to complain too much about that it needed uh tore up and uh depending on what the cattle market does now it needs some lime and uh fertilizer but uh anyhow i done a video i still ain't got the lime fertilizer on the field yet i ain't even went and bought it uh i would imagine this is just my two cents that the sky the price is going to skyrocket on it now uh probably should have got it just never and if i don't you know it ain't no big deal i guess we'll just have to move on and do it again next year or something like that but uh <clears throat> the grass is coming pretty well uh I could actually probably turn the cattle out to pasture here very soon. And uh, I'm hoping, we'll try to give them until the end of April, see what the temperatures do. It's gonna get pretty cold here tonight, which will stunt the grass a little bit. It's supposed to get 28 degrees. Um, but anyhow, everything on the farm's doing well. Uh, just got done feeding the cattle tonight. Still muddy mess out in the fields, uh, except for the front pasture where they'll graze this summer. And uh, calves are doing real well, very, very well. Uh, I actually was going, to, I went and looked at Tartar Creek feeders the other day, and uh, they, uh, they were $6.99, the one I was looking at, and I just really couldn't, I didn't think my calves would fit in it. Uh, you know, I, I'm going to guess my calves are going probably 300 pound. So, yeah, that's a, that's a, uh, they're, they're doing pretty good. So I don't think they fit in it. That's why I, I didn't do it. Uh, I think I am going to do probably fence in a corner for them and make a gate so the calves can get in there, giving them an, an opening where they can get in there. So, uh, we'll see. And, uh, anyhow, I'm going to wrap this video up. Like I said, guys, I'm sorry. I've not been putting out content. It's just, uh, been very, very busy. For myself here lately and uh hopefully this all calms down here soon and we're able to get, uh make some comment which summertime's coming up so there should be plenty of content with the tractor the farm etc 
and uh, uh, that's about it. But uh, anyhow, guys, you know, before I end this video, if you have uh, neighbors, you know, you know, let's take care of the neighbors and uh, elderly and all that. You know, if you can help them out, help them out. Uh, I've said this in a video, and probably people are getting tired of hearing it. Uh, th this is why you go to your farmer and buy your half a beef a year, or you grow your garden. You can't stress this enough. Is uh, you know you don't want to see anybody starve, or but you know, guys, it, it's uh, I, I think we're we've not seen the worst of it yet. So, but always just take care of your neighbors and uh, friends and family and all that. So, but uh, anyhow. Katie Hill Farmers out. We'll talk to you later. Everybody stay safe. Thank you.